Hey, what's up all my Aries people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, so I'm coming to you guys today with a catch-up, all right? So we're catching up today. I know I've been gone for a minute. I just had my baby at Capricorn in January, okay? She's about four months, so now I'm trying to, you know, find my schedule. I'm up early as shit right now. Um, hopefully, everybody will stay asleep. So this is for anybody with Aries placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody to tell card readings. I like advice you to take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody, okay? So any cards that I use or any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below. So let's get started, okay? So we're going to get started with some placements. So like I said, we're just catching up right now. Aries, let's see what's in your energy and see what y'all got going on. For my Aries people, what do you want them to know? So, Virgo, I analyze. Ooh, Neptune, sacrifice. I was just about to say, you guys, because um, I picked up Virgo's energy really heavy in, in the um, Pisces reading. And, and um, they have Neptune in their chart. Okay, you have Aquarius, I know. So this could be some of you guys' placements, or this could be people in your around you. And you have Mercury, mine, and yo, destiny. For sure to happen. Definitely something for sure to happen. Let me get overall energy. Let me get an angel number. So I feel like you looked at this situation, you analyzed it, you're like, okay, what do I need to do different? Then you you did that different thing. I, I, but I feel like you're trying, but don't beat yourself up if you're not fully, you know, sacrificing. This looks like a cleanse, but more so like a um, a fast, right? Like you're fasting and you know what you need to do. It's just a matter of actually putting into motion. So I think Spirit's first advice is to put something in motion or you're trying to figure out something that you did put in motion. Um why is it happening or why did it happen or why isn't your life still going a certain way and that's because uh spirit this is kind of in your birth chart with your destiny it's like destined to happen there's no way around it i'm not necessarily saying it's something negative six 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 okay I am centered. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let the card say it first, okay? This says, a wake-up call to for you to re-examine your current situation and change the duration of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency, 666. And then at the bottom you have 2222. You are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned. Okay, so you're centered and aligned. So I definitely feel like you're meditating or your chakras or something like that. Because I feel like you're centered and aligned, right? Centered and aligned. Are you guys doing the yoga? <laughs> or this could be any kind of therapy. You have the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh, what a party pooper. What a party pooper, Aries. Is that you? Are you being a party pooper? Are you being a negative Nancy? <sighs> okay. So this could be somebody's parents, too. Let me go ahead and say this. Okay, with the Queen of Wands being in reverse, I feel like if you are in the Page of Pentacles being here, if you're somebody's parent or something like that, then you need to um, take responsibility for your part. 
in something. Look, if you're looking for a sign, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. So, cleanse came out. Then right behind it, black magic. I don't know if that's a theme or something with this energy. Yeah, what goes around. I feel like something is happening right now. Because this is like... Watch the if you got Pisces in your chart, definitely watch the Pisces. Or if you're dealing with the Pisces, you have air, clarifying Mercury, of course, right? The return to sender, yes. Cleanse black. If you're looking for a sign, you need to cleanse. Black magic is in the air. I swear to God, y'all. What the fuck? I just read. I just read the cards side to side if you're looking for a sign dot 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 cleanse black magic air black magic is in the air it's like how how fucking and like i saw so i feel okay i feel like oh shit okay so Spirit is literally spelling some shit out for you, Aries. Like, they are literally, like, if you're looking for a sign, and it be, like, the sign. If you're looking for a sign to turn right, it'd be a sign right in front of your face. Turn right. If you're looking for a sign, it'd be like, hey, you need to go down the street and make a U-turn. It's like your GPS is on in your mind, but you ignoring it. Like, you making detours. You going your own way. You, like, like Spirit is, like, spelling it out for you. Like, hello. Or somebody else could be literally telling you here with this page of pentacles. So it could be the universe. It could be somebody. Like it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be um, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But somebody is, or it could be another fire sign. But somebody is literally telling you something. And I feel like you could be ignoring it. Or it could be the other way around. Maybe you're telling somebody something in there like, completely ignoring it but no need you'll get the confirmation or somebody's gonna be like hey you know what i don't know let's see let me pull a couple more cards this card represents a man or a boy a virgo let me pull one more for that avoid hasty decisions or impulsive actions the black venus this could be an old lover This could be our own lover. With somebody that you used to hold dear, true to your heart, or somebody that you do. Or that maybe that's the person that, that is telling you about what is going on. Like somebody's giving you like a reality check. You have cleanse Neptune here. Avoid extravagant urges, borrowing or looming. And then on the bottom, it says represents a, this card represents a man or a woman or a girl. That's why I say it could be some type of couple, too, or it might be a couple of people that Spirit's telling me now. It might be a couple of people on some real shit that got all this shit going on. Um, I'm hearing like black love because it's black Venus, black love, black magic. What's the queries? It says pertains to home affairs based upon the car over or under. So literally somebody in your home or somebody could have put black magic on your home. Or they could have been done this before and you know it. Or somebody literally tells you they have confirmation. What's air? Yeah, somebody's literally telling you. Denotes person persistence annoyances or losses if something keeps happening if you're losing something avoid drafts exposures and watch your diet like even this person is attacking you overall it's mind body and spirit and you need a cleanse like it's one two three four black cards out here black magic like it's a lot of negativity in the air it's stressing me out return to center like this is clearly something like like, spirit is literally spelling it out for you. Like, what else do you want? Why are you not listening? 
I think you're being stubborn or maybe maybe there's a part of you maybe that's not centered or aligned. Maybe there is something that needs to be corrected. Let's see if you're looking for a sign. Like the sun, yeah, it can't get no brighter than this. Shit, it's so hot, it might make you melt. And weather. I feel like somebody is just... So mean and so kind of stubborn. Look at her face. It's like she's so stiff. She doesn't want to bend. So this could be an older person or something like that. Because somebody doesn't or, you know, somebody doesn't like to bend. It's like, wait a minute. You have to bend. You have to go with the flow of change, you know. Like, even the communication, there's an argument here, bad communication or something like that. Somebody is just, somebody's not thinking. Yeah, the devil is here. Capricorn. Whatever this black magic energy is, it keeps you in, like, some type of cycle circle right i feel like it, you're you're bound to something you're chained to something then you have the empress here in reverse and then the temperance That's what I'm getting, some type of root worker. Or somebody's mom. So it could this could also be somebody's mom's karma or like um, a generational curse or a generational cycle or something like that. But don't fall into that where somebody's mom could have referred them to somebody or something like that. Hey, talk to my friend. She'll get you right. Some shit like that. Nah, this bitch over here doing magic. What's air? And then we're gonna get y'all a little eight of cups. And then the three of swords. Yeah, somebody somebody is coming back from the fucking dead or some shit, or they're coming back just in general. Um, but somebody like, look, man, I thought I was out here for out of here for a minute. I feel like something happens to change somebody's attitude, take to change. Like this was actually all divinely guided, but some of this shit is literally like outside interferences you get what i'm saying with this black magic shit this shit is outside interferences but i definitely see somebody recovering from something either after this cleanse like something breaks but i i, I get more so of the negativity you know what i'm saying something makes somebody change for the better let's get this uh get more oracle card auger mastery at the bottom astrology destiny that's two cards that you have destiny it's just destined to happen there's nothing you can do to change it and it's time for change anyway somebody is stubborn oh girl It says, the ancients will often make homage to a wise person, such as an augur, to receive insight and messages in order to take appropriate action. You, however, are not required to do so, as spirit calls you to step into your own sacred space and call upon the augur within. 
Here you will find strength and a wisdom that will lead you toward mastery of the self. As you tread this path or the chosen few, embrace the gifts that are bestowed upon you. Develop and hone your natural abilities in order to share the message that spirit has for you and others. This is your calling. It's time to stop fighting and to acknowledge who you are. The auger within understands the mastery of acceptance. It's time for you to do just that. You are a gifted medium. Don't be afraid of your natural connection with spirit. Listen to your calling. Time for self-realization. Practice transcendental meditation. You have a natural sixth sense. Time to trust. All right, guys. I'm telling you, these kids got me tired, bro. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm up. All right, so please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know. I appreciate it. So until next time, y'all already know what it is. I'll let it play when you see me in the street, pimp. Bye.